गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास नाइन इन दिस पीरियड ऑफ जियोग्राफी द चैप्टर लैंडफॉर्म्स ऑन द अर्थ इज कंटिन्यू एट फर्स्ट वी रिवाइज द टॉपिक्स दो जो एट आउट इन द लास्ट क्लास ऑफ जियोग्राफी द फर्स्ट वॉज इंट्रोडक्शन इन इंट्रोडक्शन आई हैड स्टेटेड अबाउट लैंडफॉर्म्स वाटर लैंडफॉर्म्स लैंडफॉर्म्स आर different features those are present on the earth and uh, causes of these landforms there are two causes of formation of landforms one is tectonic force and one is gradational force tectonic force is the internal force and gradational force is the external force tectonic force that we say it is internal force and uh, this force is exerted by the rock plates those are moving inside the earth on the semi liquid jelly material and gradation force gradational force these are external factors such as the heat of the sun the rainfall the wind the snow all these affect the earth crust and uh, form the landforms and uh, then we come to the mountains before starting this mountains i want to say about the uh, syllabus there are three topics in syllabus the mountains the plains and the plateaus mountains first of all about some introduction about mountains uh, any highland area that is 900 meter high from the sea level is called a mountain several types of mountains are present i had given some examples first was isolated mountain means uh, that is made up of single piece single piece of land for uh, single piece of land that is kilomanjaro in africa second i had given the example of mountain chain we can take the example of the rockies the andes the rockies in north america the andes in the south america and uh, we had given the example of uh, this uh, new fold mountain such as the himalayas that is in uh, uh, india and after that i had given one example of residual mountain or the oldest mountain of the world that is known as the aravalli in rajasthan in india and after that we had explained we had studied about the cause of formation of the mountain one force is involved in the formation of the mountain that is called orogenic force orogenic force so this was the revision of the last class now today we will start from the classification of the mountains now <clears throat> we see the classification of mountains there are three types of mountains number 1 fold mountains number 2 residual mountains number 3 block mountains number 1 fold mountains number 2 residual mountains and number 3 block mountains now we will see one by one the process of formation of these three different kinds of mountain and the examples first is the block mountain sorry the first is the fold mountains what happens in this <clears throat> horizontal compressional force is active on a rock strata from inside horizontal compressional force is active on rock strata from inside here first of all i want to explain these two words rock strata and horizontal compressional force rock strata this is a process of formation of different layers of the rock as you know first of all sediments lay down in the troughs in the lowland and uh, after long time again more sediments 
are collected in that region so the lower layer gets a huge pressure from upper layer and lower layer of sediments becomes solidifies that takes the shape of the rock similarly more sediments are collected now the upper layer also gets compacted takes the shape of the rock so what are we seeing there are formation of different layers of the rock so this different layers of the rock is called rock strata second thing horizontal compressional force first of all you should understand what is this compressional force a force that changes the shape and size of the object for example i want to give i want to say about uh, one balloon that is filled with air you keep that balloon between your palms and uh, press gently what will happen then uh, what will happen that at the top and at the bottom this balloon will be flattened and in middle it will bulge so what are you applying you are applying the compressional force compressional force changes the shape and the size of the object here the shape and size of the balloon is changed similarly a compressional force is applied on the earth crust by the moving plates moving rock plates inside the earth so this comp horizontal compressional force is applied on rock strata and what happens arches arches and troughs are formed these are arches and troughs so here arches and troughs are formed this is arc this is arc and this is trough arc is a r c h arc and this is trough means low land became the trough and high land it became the arc is arc is and troughs are formed i repeat this much sentence when horizontal compressional force is applied on the rock strata then arc is and troughs are formed and these arches and troughs are uplifted why is it uplifted why are these uplifted because this horizontal compressional force is still continue inside the earth this arches and troughs are uplifted and get the shape of the mountain that type of mountain is called fold mountain in one sentence if you write about the process of the formation of the fold mountain then we can say a horizontal compressional force is applied on the rock strata and arches and troughs are formed these arches and troughs are uplifted taking the shape of the mountain that type of mountain is called the fold mountain <coughs> now there are two types of fold mountains one is the uh, young fold mountains and another is old fold mountains young fold mountains the name is given young because the height of this kind of mountain is increasing still why is the height increasing behind this we have the reason to say that force compressional force is still continue uh, compressional force is still continue so the upliftment of arc is is still continue if the upliftment of arc is still continue then the height of the fold mountain will increase day by day and this type of fold mountain is called new fold mountain for example we have the himalayas in india the rockies in north america and the andes in south america second type of fold mountain is old fold mountains as the name is given old it means the height does not increase of this kind of fold mountain why does not increase because that horizontal compressional force is static now this is not continue so the upliftment of arc is is stopped therefore the height of the old fold mountains do not increase 
as examples of old fold mountains in the world we can take the name of <coughs> the ural in europe the appalachian in north america and uh, one more we can take the aravalli the aravalli that is the oldest one the aravalli is the oldest one on the earth surface these three the ural in europe the appalachian in north america and the aravalli in india now second type of mountain is residual mountain in residual mountain the force of gradation or the force of erosion is active on the previous mountain that previous mountain may be fold mountain or the block mountain i repeat the force of gradation or the force of erosion is active on the mountain and this force of gradation or the force of erosion changes the shape of the previous mountain in which sense it changes the shape of the previous mountain the height may decrease the slope may be changed it happens due to the force of gradation and this kind of newly formed mountain whose uh, shape and slope these two are changed is called residual mountain in one sentence how shall we uh, explain the process of formation of the residual mountain we can say a force of gradation or the force of erosion is active on the mountain this force changes the shape and size of the previous mountain in the sense of its uh, height and the slope in such a way newly formed mountain whose uh, shape is changed is called residual mountain as example good examples we have two in india the nilgiri and the rajmahal hills and in one one is in usa there is kaskill mountain t will remain silent in the pronunciation we will pronounce it kaskill mountains and now the third type of mountain is the block mountain about the processes of formation of the block mountain we have three processes of the formation of the block mountain number a when the horizontal horizontal tensional force when the horizontal tensional force is active on the earth crust from inside then folds are prepared i shall repeat i shall explain every all words folds are prepared and these folds are broken to make the fold and this fold is uplifted takes the shape gets gets the shape of the mountain that type of mountain is called block mountains here as i wrote a horizontal horizontal tensional force a horizontal tensional force first of all horizontal tensional force from where does it arise it arises from the movement of the rock plates that is occurring inside the earth crust horizontal tensional force horizontal tensional force tensional means when this uh two rock plates collide with each other then tension force of tension appears on the rock plate that force of tension is also experienced by the earth crust as this tensional force is experienced by the earth crust then a density 
density of the rocks on the earth surface changes means if the density of the uh, rocks on the earth surface will be changed then a line of weakness will be prepared in the rock that line of weakness is called fault and uh, since this force is continue because the moment of rock inside the earth is continue therefore at the place of fault at that place of line of weakness the earth crust is broken up the earth crust is broken up and fold is prepared that broken part of earth crust is called fold that fold is prepared and this fold rises up taking the shape of the mountain and that type of mountain is called the block mountain i repeat i shall try to accumulate all these words in one or two sentences let us try it a horizontal tensional force is active on the earth crust from inside that is exerted by the moving rock plates inside the earth and faults are prepared faults a line of weakness you know faults are prepared faults is always prepared in the rock faults are prepared and this earth crust is broken up at the place of faults and make the fold this fold rises up and takes the shape of the mountain that type of mountain is called block mountain this is the first process the second process if two parallel faults are together these two are parallel faults two parallel faults this this part this part and this part these two are parallel faults if two parallel faults are together then the middle of those two parallel faults rises up and it takes the shape of the mountain rises up i have written here this part is uplifted uplifted part rises up and takes the shape of the mountain this type of mountain is also called fold mountain sorry block mountain this type of mountain is also called block mountain in the case of two parallel faults if two parallel faults are are together then the middle of those two parallel faults rises up that takes the shape of the mountain and that mountain is also called block mountain then the third process the crust of either side of the fault the crust crust the crust means the earth crust the crust of either side of fault suppose this is the this is the this is the edge of the fault fault means you know line of weakness from where the earth crust can break up this is the edge of the fault and this is the edge of the earth crust and due to some reason this earth crust will sink down this earth crust will sink down obviously you can understand the part of the fault will remain up the for the part of the fault will remain up and that will take the shape of the mountain that is also a, a process of the formation of block mountain when one edge of the fault one edge of the crust beside the fault will sink down automatically the portion of the fault will rise up and takes the shape of the mountain that type of mountain is also called fold mountain so we have sorry block mountain so we have three processes of the formation of block mountain first in which horizontal tensional force is applied on the earth crust then uh, the faults are prepared 
and this folds are broken into piece that is called the fold this fold rises up and gets the shape of the mountain that is called the fold mountain sorry that is called the block mountain number 2 in case of two parallel falls if two parallel falls are if two parallel falls are together then the middle of those two parallel falls rises up and takes the shape of the mountain that is also one process of the formation of a block mountain third when at the edge of the fault the earth crust sinks down then the portion of the fault will remain up will rise up that will take the shape of the mountain that is also one process of the formation of a block mountain now some examples the first is the black forest in germany second is the vases in france third is the sierra nevada in california and the fourth is the salt range in pakistan i repeat because these are the facts you have to learn and from here from this kind of sections where there is facts questions are asked the first is the black forest in germany second is the bosses in france third is the sierra nevada in california and fourth is the salt range in pakistan thank you